Courtney Rowland and Josh Helmholt here at Kyle Field after an A&M win over UTSA. Josh down here today, um, I know Isaiah Spiller, Mark was just saying how he had a very big day. Who are some of the guys that stood out to you watching A&M for the first time this season live? Yeah, so this is their 2009 recruiting class, I think was number six in the entire country. And you're seeing the fruits of that already. Obviously, Isaiah Spiller, everybody's going to talk about him. 200-plus yards, three touchdowns, he should be talked about. A few other guys stood out to me. Uh, Ten months ago, I, I was down in San Antonio at the All-American Bowl, and DeMarvin Leal was the guy. If you went, went go back and look at the writings, he was the guy that impressed me more than anybody else in that entire game. And to see what he's doing already for the Aggies doesn't really surprise me. I mean, that that's a future first-round draft pick. That's, that's what you see out of a guy like DeMarvin Leal. Physically, he's already... He looks like a college guy. He looked like a college guy 10 months ago in San Antonio. And they just, I mean, it, it, UTSA, but still, I mean, they couldn't handle him. Uh, and there are times where I, th I think pretty much anybody in SEC is going to have that trouble. He needs to be more consistent. Obviously, you get that with freshmen, but he's very impressive. Uh, the guy that I think maybe surprised me the most was Jalen Weidermeyer. Uh, so you're looking at a guy who has that inline tight end body. He can be there and block and, and do all the things you need from that inline tight end but what really impressed me is what he is able to do in the passing game you really notice those elite tight ends by that first move after the catch and he is so athletic and fluid obviously made some tough catches today but also what he does after the catch is impressive and the third guy I wanted to point out is one of the last guys that was added to this 2019 class and that was Anaya Smith and he was the guy being up in up, up north where I'm from. I heard a lot about Northwestern. Really wanted Anaya Smith to be their running back in that 2019 class. He's a late addition for Texas A&M and an early contributor. We saw it on the punt return, but we also saw. I think he got some, you know, extra time today because uh, you know a little injury there in the in the receiving core. And so he's a guy that obviously has that playmaking ability. I'm excited to see, you know, where he takes that in the future. Aggie offenses. I know we saw some recruits here earlier today for the 2020 class. Um, a little bit familiar with A&M 2020 class. Uh, what do you think Jimbo Fisher and I guess the coaches here are able to do recruiting wise and what they've done so far? Well, it's, you know, we're talking about Jimbo Fisher. I mean, He's got his legs under him now here in College Station. Uh, this is when his recruiting game plan really should be hitting its stride, and we're seeing that. I mean, they're con they're contending for the top players around the country. Uh, you have a product here that obviously is is a brand here, a product that's as good as anywhere in the country, and he's learning how to sell it, and he is successfully selling that on the recruiting trail. And um, they were a top ten class last year. They're I, I, I mean I think they're a perennial top ten. Uh, you know, recruiting team in the country. And we were looking for DeMond DeMonts earlier here. I don't think he came today, but I know you're very familiar with him throughout the whole recruiting circuit. Uh, for them to add him early on to the recruiting class, what do you think that did, I guess, for, you know, the core of it and moving forward and how they collected more and more five-star, four-star guys? Great players want to play with other great players. And the reason being is they want to play for championships. So when you're able to add a five-star early on and be able to have him be kind of that cornerstone of your class, that's what you build upon. And to be able to add top talent early to your class is certainly valuable because it attracts more top talent. And I think you'll see that as, uh, you know, kind of the, the MO of Jimbo Fisher recruiting going forward and, and pretty much has always been is, you know, try to lock up that that big local guy early or you know that five star if you can get him on to get everybody else kind of following along that Pied Piper uh, that's really a powerful tool. Well that will definitely keep me busy um, if that is his MO moving forward. Josh Helmholt, Courtney Rowland for Rivals.com.